Chris, I know that's your favorite costume, right? Can you tell us about the gun? Is it real? Uh, no. Rifle? It's made to be real authentic, I believe. Yeah, I'm not sure like where the props are made. They're probably mm. made in somewhere in London, but you know, they, um, obviously the old musket rifles would have been actually very, quite heavy, so um, mm. quite a lot of weight in them. Actually, I, I busted a rib um, in my death scene oh. the, on the second night of the wow. show, wow. and uh, then started playing up my collarbone, so they're actually nice enough to take a bit of the weight out wow. of the gun okay. for me. Obviously this new production, visually is so much different to the original, mm. you know, they've got Victor Hugo's artworks and these wonderful moving projections and you'll see like the sewer scene and it's so fantastic but um, and a lot of costumes are different but um, I love that the red vest now yeah. changes <laughs> and you know, it's, um, it's so great to wear, you know, I've actually been thinking, because I'm finishing with the show in, at the end of Singapore, you know, I need to find a way for the boss to let me keep the vest. <laughs> I'd love to have it, you know, 20 years from now. We're up to a fancy dress party. <laughs> the new theatre in Manila um, had this sound quality that kind of sucked the um, sound out, so you couldn't hear your voice coming back, but you also couldn't really hear the audience, where um, this theatre, I've never been here before, it's stunning, and uh, you really just get that energy from the audience. And it's so nice, you know, it's. It's obviously not a show where I'm like, where you're playing for laughs or you partic particularly the audience aren't even involved. You know, with the barricade, we're playing, you know, with our backs to the audience at times. But, um, you know, it is, a, it is a brutal show. So it's nice to um, just know that they're enjoying it and receiving it and appreciate it, I guess. I guess, you know, swinging on Jersey Boys, I played six different roles in the show. Obviously that was just a wonderful time for my development in that way, you know, you know, as a swing, you're not, you know, you're not, you don't ever feel quite as prepared, you know, you haven't had that time bonding with the rest of the cast or on stage, so you're often just thrown out there, so, you know, it's wonderful to put yourself outside your comfort zone and deal with that. But obviously being part of a show that's big and it's, it's been around for so long, it's like this, you know, it, um, it's on your bucket list and you want to tick that off and uh, I guess growing up I always probably thought, you know, I might be lucky enough to play like Marius or something. I feel like Onjuras has been the perfect role for me right now in my early 30s. Now I feel like it wasn't until I was in my late 20s that I kind of figured out who I was as a man and maybe started to like myself and I'm proud of who I am and, you know, I think they're qualities that I I needed to play such a role and um, it's been a wonderful journey. It's turning me grey, but, um, <laughs> but that's okay. That's okay. I've always been such a sort of physical kind of guy and I guess to be honest, I don't really know how to do the show without like thrashing myself. So, you know, so I'll, I will always have a tired voice by the end of the week and a sore body. So. Um, I find things to do that I can do quietly, you know, I love cycling or I'll go to a yoga class or just watch a movie or, you know, be by myself, you know, I like my own time. I need to relax sometimes and realise that I can enjoy Singapore because generally I'm like, I'm here for late years, I'm here for late years, you know, and I'm very business-like like that. Thank you guys. Thank you. Good day. Hope you enjoy the show.